Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and guys today I'm gonna talk about uh, playing sounds in Flash and there are actually three ways of doing it uh, let's check uh, all the three ways out so let's start uh, guys I'm using Adobe uh, Flash Professional CS 5.5 let me click on the create new uh, action script 3 button okay I'm presented with a stage which is as always 550 by 400 pixels and uh, the color of the stage is white okay the next thing then that I'm gonna do is I need a sound of course it's a sound tutorial I need a sound I'm gonna go to window and uh, I'm gonna go to common libraries gonna go down to sounds alright let me then search for the appropriate sound I need a police siren so let me just search for it okay okay we got three sirens out here guys and uh, okay fine I'll go with this one which is emergency siren police yelp cool guys you can drop it in the library and then you can actually you have this preview window you got got this play button you can hit this play button and then you can hit the stop button you can actually check the way it plays okay guys the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this sound and I can drop it anywhere on the stage and when I do that guys let me show you something to make things uh, very clear let me first give it a label out here and the next thing that I'll do is I'll right click on the label, label I'll go to properties and then I'll increase the layer height let's say to a full 300 and let me say ok guys the moment I do that you can actually see that the layer height has gone up by three times and it will really be of a big help and we'll see why okay now I'm uh, the the library tab is selected guys I'm gonna hit the properties tab okay and then I'm gonna select the first and the only frame on the only layer which is polisari okay the moment I do that guys have a look out here in the properties panel under the sound section under the sound section which can be collapsed like this the name of the sound is emergency siren policy right uh, as far as effects is concerned uh, I'm leaving it to none although there are uh, several effects that that can be applied right guys notice out here the sync is set to stream on your system uh, I have a feeling it might be set to event okay but uh, let's talk about stream if it is set to stream and the only we, we just have one single frame as is the case out here if I hit control enter to test the movie or let's say to test the sound let's see what will happen or what will not happen rather guys as you can see out here nothing happens because it was set to stream now why does setting it to stream uh, does not play the sound there's a reason for that when you set the sound to stream when you set the sync to stream notice out here uh, the sync has been set to stream instead of event or start or stop it has been set to stream the re repetition has been set to one okay the other option is loop now when you set the sync to stream you actually need to extend the timeline so uh, it is timeline dependent for example if I were to uh, come up here on the 24th frame and let's say drop in a keyframe now guys uh, my reason for making the the you know the layer height to 300% was so that you can actually see the sound very clearly right now guys you can actually see that uh, when it is the sync is set to stream I can actually scrub the timeline and I can actually hear the sound that does not happen when the sync is set to event or start let me just scrub the timeline for you see see that's reverse okay so the first thing that happens when you uh, 
set the sync to a stream is that you can actually scrub the timeline you can actually hear the police siren or any other sound for that example uh, for that matter if I were to set the uh, sync to an event which usually is the default on most systems should be the default on your system too if I am to scrub the timeline nothing happens even if it were set to let's say a start and if I were to scrub the timeline timeline nothing would happen okay let me put it back to stream All right and let me hit control enter now I'll tell you what happens it will play for one single second the entire length of the sound is actually many seconds but it will play for the first second it will then loop back and it will restart again and again and again but it will not play the entire siren length no it will not that happens when you set it to event or when you set it to start we'll check that uh, too but let me hit control enter to prove my point so here goes control enter so guys if you heard me uh, you, you, if you heard uh, you know things correctly it plays for a single second it terminates it comes off loops back the playhead goes back to the very first frame and the sound restarts so there's a there's that jerk when it stops and uh, restarts okay let's see if i were to set it to a different option something like uh, an event what happens so i'm changing the sync uh, from a stream to an event or rather uh, let me show you something yeah le let me go with event as well as let me also remove all the frames barring the first one okay now the only frame that we have is one single frame and I have set the, s the sync to an event now guys even if it were start instead of event you don't need extra frames for the sound to play which is uh, essential which is compulsory which is mandatory when it comes to streaming let me prove my point by hitting control enter right so as you heard that uh, it's absolutely all right to have one single frame and uh, yet play the sound but that does not happen when you be your uh, setting the sync to stream okay now things actually uh, go into a mayhem they, they become crazy if I were to extend the timeline let's say let me go to the 24th frame which equals one single second and let me hit F6 on my keyboard and if I were to test the movie now things go wild absolutely crazy you'll understand what I mean when I test the movie control enter okay so <laughs> right so what happens it kicks off on the very first frame it reaches the 24th frame the playhead loops back to the very first frame another instance of the sound starts okay uh, it covers one more second so what is happening out here is uh, after every single second a new instance of the same sound is uh, starting again and again again and again till that till it actually becomes uh, so messy that I had to stop it All right now let me try the third option which is uh, start okay again let me remove the extra frames so remove frames I just have one single frame and the sync has been set to start if I hit control enter on the keyboard again uh, um, the whole point is that I don't need extra frames which was which was the case when I was actually uh, working with the sync set to a stream right now let me extend it to the 24th frame which equals one single second okay and uh, now things actually don't get uh, worse like it were it was the case when I had set it to um, event let me show it to you 
So the first frame out here, the sync is start and it is not event. In the case uh, when it was actually set to event, you could hear uh, the, the, the mixing of several instances of the same sound. That does not happen when you set it to a start. Let me show it to you. So when you set uh, something to a, a start, you actually don't need extra frames, that's one. It does not start over and over again when the playhead goes back to the very first frame, that's two. Okay, That happens when you set it to a sync. Okay, So that is the, the difference between uh, a start and event. All right. Let's see uh, any other, uh, let's see what else uh, we can learn uh, out here. Let me, uh, you know, go back to event i'm setting the very first frame to event okay and on the 24th frame i'm coming out here let me select the sound name which is uh, emergency police siren okay and then out here i'm dropping down the options and selecting stop so on the first frame it has been set to event on the last frame it has been set to stop okay so let's see what what happens so in effect it is exactly the same as uh, if it were set to a stream and guys if you notice out here you can actually see the stop symbol that uh, square shape okay which indicates stop so it runs the first second it stops the playhead goes back and it restarts all over again all right guys uh, this tutorial will be carried forward to the next part where I'll uh, explain uh, a little more about playing sounds in flash. Till then guys keep rocking. Uh, have a good day. Peace to you. Bye-bye.